With Ashik there, they've got pace. With Manvir, they've got pace. There is the skipper that's been there, seen it, done it, got the T-shirt as well. A lot is going to rest on his shoulders, dragging his boys across the line to get the big W today. Against Orisha, this could be a slippery slope. And something tells us we haven't seen the best of Victor Rodriguez either. No, we haven't. And I think that this is going to be more of a 4-2-3-1. I think Victor's going to play in the hole behind Mauricio, which will allow Mauricio to drift wide, drift forwards, get forwards as well. And this moment, and now the senses Let's will heighten at the Salt Lake once again. ATK Mohan Bagan versus Orisha. Off we go. Let's go. Here's the delivery. It's a bit of a floater, slight touch from that man, Carl McHugh. Crowd gone up a couple of decibels now and are really getting behind this ATK Mohan Bagan side. Good save in the end. McHugh gets in front, gets the glance. Amrinda at full stretch there. Ashish Rai with a touch. Bumus chasing. This is where ATK Mohan Bagan are so dangerous. Liston and a fine challenge from Jerry. And Bumu is forced into a wide position, just rolls it inside, but there you go. Jerry yet again. Manvir for Carl McHugh. Too quick for Petratos. And here's Diego Maurizio. Will take on Putia. Will try and take on Pritham. And then finds Victor Rodriguez. There's the shot, just wide. Brilliant. Brilliant counter-attacking from both sides there, really. But then this, Mauricio looking around, aware this time, not wanting to take it all on himself. A little bit of an inquisition going on as well in the ATK Malmbegan defence at the moment, which is just off-screen. But they moved the ball extremely well, and that's not a million miles away. It really isn't. Brilliant from Diego. Victor looking for that bottom corner. The only nil-nil no draws of the season. Damianovic over the top. Manvir and Petrotos, oh, touched over. What a hit and what a save. Stunning strike, absolute stunning strike. And that's what's going to get this crowd going. Brilliant from Dimi Petrotos. He's taking the corner quickly. Bubbles on the turn. You fall asleep, you get punished. There is always an added narrative. When Hugo Bubu scores a goal, started in Goa, pit stop in Mumbai, and now the story has arrived in Kolkata. 1 0 ATK Mohan Bagan. This is all about mental awareness. This is all about clever play. This is all about Dimi Petratos. But sprints to get the ball and whips it in early. Lovely little flick for a man there. And because Odisha fall asleep, ATK Mohan began take the ball by the horns, and Hugo Bumu drills it into the back of the net. And ATK Mohan began. The Mariners say thank you very much. Great play, though, from Dimi Petratos. There's something special about that Manvir flick as well. For Damjanovic in the derby, and now for Hugo Bumus. Victor. Nanda Kumar. Maybe there's a chance for Odisha. Sahil. And Nanda Kumar. Damjanovic with a block. And then Preetha put it out for a corner. And he celebrates that moment. And the chance came about. Good combination play. And then Nanda just couldn't get enough power on that. Who put him under pressure, but it is Hugo Bumus and his finish. That is the difference between the two sides. Maurizio's had his moments, but they haven't been converted into goals. And Juan Ferrando goes in at half-time, the more relieved of the two Spaniards. And so the second half begins at the Salt Lake with Victor Rodriguez with a quick ping. And here come ATK Mohan Bagan now, Liston Colasso. And Liston's attempt, once again tipped over by Amrinder. How good has Amrinder been? They're trying to take another quick free, another quick corner. Amrinder stayed on the ground, clutching his calf. Here's the pace. This is what happens when you have to go and sacrifice bodies forwards. Toiba, for me, waited a little bit too long to come across. Delgado busting his guts to get back there. And Liston... Great touch. 
Now Subashish towards Petrotos into a great area. Here it is again. Lovely little touch around the corner from Hugo Bumu. And look at that right behind the defence. Just not enough bodies getting in there. Bumus for Ashish Rai. Ashish's ball inside. Missed. And now Liston. Out comes Amrinda flying off the blocks. How does he pick that one out? Lovely touch from Ashish. He just fires it across. Victor as well. There's that ball across the face of goal. Subham Sarangi getting it wrong, and maybe that's just what put Liston off. Carl McHugh's challenge. Bubus turns. Petratos! Petratos! The connection! And the completion! A complete modern-day forward! And the Mariners charge forward into the semis at this rate. Yep, yeah, certainly looks as though they are in the box seat now. Those changes, those substitutions from Josep Gombau don't look as though they've worked. Wins the ball, but is it a tackle or a challenge from behind? The ref plays the advantage. Bumu finds McHugh, who finds Petratos. I'll tell you what, he's hit some sweet ones this season, but that will feel like the sweetest one he's hit so far this year because he finds that far corner and he gets the Mariners right on the cusp of being in the semi-finals. Ten goals for the season. For ATK Mohan Bagan's makeshift number nine. And now the set piece as well. Out came Vishal Keith. Ooh, foul given though. Because the two players clashed and Vishal Keith has stayed down and needs immediate medical assistance. Looks like he's been knocked out, so they need to sort something out here quickly. The medics, all the physios, straight onto the pitch. I tell you what, how brave was he? Well, they're calling the ambulance on as well. This is not good. This is not good. Juan Ferrando has just rushed over there as well. Well, the ambulance leaving is a positive because there is nobody in that ambulance. We can tell you that. Vishal Ket, he's now sitting up. An immediate response, though. And Vishal Ket. He wants to carry on. He, he just... Did he just say, I'm OK? Of course he did. That's what players do. And Vishal Ket will come off. Well, let's hope that he's going to be OK for the semi-final. You can see now he's just turning around and he's like, you know, everything's OK. Victor. Diego Maurizio. Victor Rodriguez. Just forcing Victor into that attempt. Creating room. False to Liston. Putia. Beaten away by Amrinder. And Putia, of all people, latches on to that. Aniket. South Crespo again, and on the turn, straight to Arshanwar. And what we've seen so far is he's brave, he can punch the ball, and he's got a decent set of hands, because he picks that one out of the sky, like picking a cherry from a tree. Last Shubham, sets up Gallego, and Ferry Gallego! Kept out by Dene's touch. And he's leaving them a little bit exposed here. Ferry Gallego just walked in there and tried to tuck it into that far post area just a little bit too much on it though does well to create the yard just snatches at it with that left foot Bumus integrated properly because throughout the season they were banging with blunt heads and burnt wings and those blunt heads have turned into sharp minds and those burnt wings have begun flapping again to take flight into the Hero ISL semi-finals. One for Ando. And his ways and his means. And his means to an end. And his circumstances and his ploys and his mistakes. And all his aces. And for Gumbau, it is all about optimism.
And the thing about optimism is that all good things come to an end. For Gambao, it seems the job has just begun, or so he will hope, in his second stint at Odisha. And in this knockout game at full time, thanks to goals from Petratos and Bumus, it ends ATK Mohan Bagan 2, Orisha nil.